You know, I'm here with Jill out at Al's in Gresham, and Jill, nothing says the holidays like poinsettias, and you guys have a ton of them, but I think a lot of us really don't understand the actual work that goes into getting poinsettias ready for sale this time of year. So I would like to go over what you do to, to grow them out here, and then talk about some of the new varieties that you're testing. Sure, absolutely. Um, most of our poinsettias, we actually start in, if you can believe it or not, end of June wow. or the beginning of July, especially our larger sizes, our eight inch, we do two plants in a pot and we get the cuttings in, in July and grow them on from there. And our six inch crop, we start later on. So they definitely are a labor of love, very kind of <laughs> long-term crop, but um, we definitely enjoy growing them and growing so many different varieties. And the fun thing is with you guys here at Owls, you don't just grow the same varieties over and over again. No, we, we <laughs> definitely like to uh, experiment and test our skills and try new things every year. And that's what these two varieties are, right? Right. These two are actually not even currently available on the market. These are trial varieties that haven't been named. They currently just have breeding numbers on them. But we got some samples to try this year because we thought that they were really unique and different. And most people probably won't think, oh, that doesn't look like a normal poinsettia. But actually what this is is a cross from what is the standard poinsettia, which mm -hmm. is already a hybrid, crossed back to a species variety that really? grows in the wild. So it has that more unique look, like a poinsettia that you would find growing out Somewhere in, in like, the tropics. Exactly. Where it would be native. Smaller bracts and larger centers, larger actual flowers than what you would see on some of the other varieties, um, like your traditional reds. Well, now what I, I think is really interesting is this was actually one from last year that was right. kind of in the same place these mm -hmm. are this year. You put it out there, people liked it, they bought it a lot, so you brought it back and now it's for sale. Right. We did, um, we had a small portion last year that we did. Um, put it out there in the stores, had a really great response to it. So we did a few more and we've actually had an even bigger response for it this year. So I think people are really enjoying having something unique and different yeah. instead of traditional colors. Well, they're such a great plant for color and, and to have different uh, leaf sh uh, shapes and sizes mm -hmm. now is really fun. But I think we also, I know I tend to get one in a six inch pot leave mm -hmm. it setting on a mantle somewhere and not pay a lot of attention to it, which is my failing. You guys are really sassing them up though in container plantings. This right, year. we've um, done a lot of these cute little planters, which takes the concept of like a gift item or a centerpiece item um, it takes it to the next level, I think, mixing it up with different foliage plants so that you can have it for the holidays, you can have it for a gift, but if you care for it properly, you can actually have it extend a lot longer past Christmas um, through February even and, and enjoy the different components of it. And when the poinsettia finally is done, you can take it out, pop something else in, and you have a really interesting foliage combo still that you can use throughout the year. I think that's a great idea for like a hostess gift. Mm -hmm, I mean, that absolutely. would just be charming because it really, it steps it up a notch. Now you not only did these smaller containers, uh, which these really are here at Gresham only, right? You don't yes. have them at Sherwood or Woodburn, but you can certainly come in and look at them and get ideas. You did some big containers though that I have to say, not my socks yeah. off. <laughs> we, we took the concept of the patio planter that people would have outside on their porch with the big ceramic pots in different colors and kind of played with that, putting poinsettias in there with different types of plants, shrubs, perennials, things like that. So that went, again, same concept as the small one. Once the poinsettia has kind of outlived its lifespan, you can pull it out, put something more seasonally appropriate in there and pop it right out on your porch and have something nice um, in the winter time and early spring. Fun. It just makes yeah. it fun. Now, let's let's talk about quickly the care of sure. poinsettias. You do have this great little sheet that you hand out or it's online as well, but let's go over what the basics are. Um, the basics are from the step one, from the first moment that you get it, try to make it your last purchase on the day because even if it's, sure. um, no, it doesn't seem like it's very cool outside to you. If you have your poinsettia in the car and the temperatures are cool, even for an hour or something like that, that can really it detract from the lifespan of your plant. So that's kind of step number one. Once you have it home, you want to put it in an area that receives bright light, but not direct sunlight right on the bracts because you can get fading on them or it can brown a little bit. So um, bright light at least six hours, I would say, is a good guideline during the day. 
Um, you want to keep it away from drafts mm -hmm. and heat, so just be mindful where your doors are, where your heat vents are. You don't want extreme temperature fluctuations happening near your plant because that can decrease the lifespan. Um, watering is also very crucial. I think most people think that they need to water something every day, mm -hmm. and in fact, that's not really true at all. Um, if you have it in your home, I would say probably every three or four days, depending on how warm your house sure. is, is a good guideline. So an easy way to check is to just touch the surface of the soil, stick your finger down a, about an inch. If you feel moisture, you're probably good to go. If it's a little bit dry, that's when you want to water it. And you want to water enough so that the water drains through a little bit because you want to saturate the All whole the pot, the make system. it nice and even. Um, and just also be mindful if you have since most of these are gift items. If they come in a decorative pot cover um, or ceramic pot, something like that, if you're watering in there, just take it out, dump the extra water out, and then put it back in because poinsettias do not like to have wet feet. Yeah, and they would in that case. Well, you know, I have to tell you that the selection, the color, the variety of poinsettias out here at Owls is, it really is breathtaking. It'll shock you some of the colors they come up with. For more information on all of this good stuff, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the Owls website. Jill, truly a pleasure. Thank you Great, so much. Thank you so much for coming.